On February 6, 2019, I arrived Clinton Central High School at 7 a.m. A visit with the principal. We discussed school safety, culture. We talk about today's youth and what they've been through the past couple of years. But the isolation, the isolation still is, yeah. is alarming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's what we keep telling them, get involved, get involved, get involved. Even like a going for a mile walk outside nature. Oh, that's not what happened. Breathing. <laughs> I know. But they're going to figure that out later. Yeah. The theme of my talk was motivational and mental health. Experiences own you. You got to pick yourself up, ask for help, move forward, and you become shaped. Your character, your, you got more grit, resiliency, you want to be a better person. Maybe I had to go through this. So that throughout the day, if one of you comes up to me and says, hey Jeff, thank you for serving our country. I will stop and look at you and say, thank you for listening today. Because I never want one of you to walk away from me thinking, oh, he, doesn't, he doesn't care about us. Two car accidents had taken the lives of teens in recent years, leaving this community, students and staff, with many questions and pain in their heart. A little more than two hours in the high school gymnasium with sixth grade through high school seniors. Not a peep could be heard. After my talk, teens went to debriefing classes and I immediately started talking to teens one-on-one -on -one visiting classes, spending time with the counselors. An intervention assessment led to parents being called and a student being admitted for suicidal ideation. And then when we open our heart, our teammates, our friends, they come in and they're like, hey man, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna be okay. And in a couple days, a week, we gotta, at some point, we gotta pick ourselves up, right? And so when life knocks you down, we get back. And we gotta get back in the game. We gotta get back in our purpose. That makes sense, right? The conversation with teachers and staff at the end of the day, validating who they are and the importance of them and the relationships with their students. Our students have everything they need, but they're missing what they want. Trusted, significant relationships with the adults that they're most close to in their life. At the end of the day, it was counseling and guidance to teachers. My friends, our youth are hurting, but don't think for one second that our staff members aren't hurting themselves either. They are. What a beautiful day, Clinton Central. You will always be in my hearts. Thank you for letting me be a part of your life.